I don't think artificial intelligence is going to solve all of the problems that humans have caused when it comes to environmental systems. But I do think that it represents a significant opportunity for us to deploy some of our most sophisticated technologies and tools to solve some of the environmental challenges that we face today. We see huge opportunities for Microsoft technologies to digitally transform the natural resources sector at large. AI for Earth at Microsoft is a five-year, $50 million commitment on behalf of Microsoft to deploying our decades of research and investments in AI technologies in the four key areas of agriculture, water, biodiversity, and climate change. And then where we really focus as a program is turning these trained machine learning models into actionable, uh, accessible web services through application programming interfaces and ensuring that people all around the world are able to build applications that are contextualized to the communities that they're focusing on by consuming these APIs. One of the AI for Earth projects that I'm incredibly excited about is one called Project Premonition. And really what it is, is it's trying to build a scalable, system to observe and collect information about natural uh, environments in order to inform human societies about potentially catastrophic disease outbreaks. Diseases like Ebola and Zika that are, when they're not outbreaking in human populations, are hosted in wildlife populations. And so by putting out increasingly intelligent um, field-based robotics, we can collect the insects that feed on animals that are hosting this disease. We can bring those uh, robots back into the lab. We can put all of that genetic information that we just collected through a massive cloud scale metagenomics pipeline. And just like that, we can start to get information about what diseases are where and what the probabilities of them influencing human populations might be. And one of my uh, favorite grantee organizations at the moment is an organization called Wild Me. And they have a computer vision algorithm that can not just identify what types of animals are in photos, but which specific animal it actually is. So kind of facial recognition for species, if you were. And you can use that technology to recognize individuals in photos that are taken in many different places. And by bringing all of that information together, you can put those into population assessment models, statistical models that tell scientists just how well any particular species is doing across Earth. So one of the ways that AI for Earth is working with, an organization, with organizations to help preserve and stem the loss of biodiversity is with an organization that runs a project called the Elephant Listening Project. And what that is, is it's an opportunity to deploy microphones out into the wild, record what elephants are saying to one another and the ways that they're saying it, and use machine learning technologies to translate kind of elephant language into, into a more human recognizable language. And what that lets us do is it gets us a much better insight into the population kind of communication structure, where elephants um, are feeling stressed, when and where they might be, uh, how they might be feeling about uh, activities like illegal poaching. And it allows us to just get a much better sense of kind of put our finger on the pulse of this critically uh, important and um, charismatic megafauna. We offer educational opportunities and programming for, for our growing community of over 140 grantees in 50 countries around the world. And then we directly lean in and co-develop and co-engineer solutions. So I definitely feel that governments play a critical role in helping society achieve some of the sustainability goals, but also Companies don't need governments for action. We can go out and we can take action ourselves. We can set the agenda that we want to see. So I think if you look at just the success of the technology sector and pre basically every other sector, you, you see that the opportunity for technology to help accelerate a broader global sustainability agenda is enormous. And it's what I have the privilege at Microsoft to wake up to and work on full time every day. I couldn't imagine a more motivating job to come to work and do every day.